Hey everybody, it's Jess and welcome to Fine Curls Jess and we're back with some more product review videos. I know that this line is not new. Um, I know that this is one that I, um, I don't typically kind of go for. I kind of stick to my little frugal type budget type videos. Um, but here we are. I wanted to try the um, curls line out but I didn't want to try the original line that they've had out for like forever so I saw this poppin pineapple collection I don't know how long it's been in stores um I saw it I grabbed one thing at a time legit because ten dollars for every product in this line is a bit mind-boggling to me and I don't use a lot of expensive products in my hair but um, I figured I would try it out and let you guys know in case somebody else out there was thinking about trying this product out for themselves and wanted to see how it is. So this is my hair. It's just wet. I just put some water in it, let water flow over it. Um, I just took it out of a protective style. I'm about to put it back into a protective style. But we're gonna we have to do wash day first. We gotta get rid of all that old product, right? So I'm gonna start off with the so so clean vitamin C curl wash. Um basically it's formulated with some vitamins, it's for shiny, longer, thicker, and healthier curls. Um, it enhances hair growth, increase sebum, which is the scalp's natural oils production, and decrease hair loss which is another reason why I went ahead for this line. I am in the process of growing my hair out, so I want to test out products that are aimed at hair growth. So this is what the curl wash looks like. Definitely smells like pineapple, but not a good pineapple. Um, when you rub it in your hands, it automatically suds up. So I'm probably going to need more than a little bit I just put on my hands. Um, if you are not into scents or heavy scents, this product is not for you. Um, the scent on this smells like, um, pop, pineapple soda. Like this pineapple soda. And I'm not a fan. Um, I'm gonna try not to... I wash it out I definitely wasn't expecting it to set up I don't know why I just kind of thought it wasn't and now the pineapple soda scent has kind of gone away and I'm left with like a bubble gum kind of scent okay. so I'm going to focus on, and I know you guys see here that it shedded hair. It's okay. I'm focusing on my edges because that's where most of my products from like gels and stuff were at. I'm going to take this shedded hair. I shed a lot. I have started rice water again, um, but it hasn't been consistent just yet. But it's that shedding wasn't terrible not so terrible as two weeks worth of shedding so i'm going to let's see i'm going to read this it says i already rinse the hair with warm water lather rinse well repeat only if necessary if needed okay so i'm gonna rinse this out and then i'll come back and show you guys the hair mask okay so i rinsed it out and I just put my little towel thing on to drain up the excess water. And my hair is not dry or stripped. Um, definitely feels clean enough for us to get into the second part of wash day. So, um, I'm going to now apply 
their So So Moist Vitamin C Curl Mask. And it says to leave it on for 5 to 10 minutes. We all know that I like to leave my mask on for longer. And um, I'm going to first start off by applying rice water to my hair and my scalp first. And then applying the mask on top. This is how I prefer to do my rice water routine. I know that this is probably not the best way to test this product out to see if I like it. But it's kind of how I convince my curl day or my wash days. The rice water that I'm using has been in the fridge for a couple of days. It fermented for like four. Um, it stinks because it stinks. So I'm just going to thoroughly wet my hair. I'm focusing on the scalp and I'm just going to kind of rub the water to the ends. Since my hair is already damp, this is not making it any better <laughs> definitely wet okay i'm going to take this mask and apply it okay so the mask to me has the thickness of a conditioner uh, it's a little thicker than a conditioner or your typical conditioner so i guess a mask is a fair assumption to say. It is gliding onto my hair really nicely. Um, definitely has a heavier scent. So if you don't like heavy scents, this is not for you. Definitely does not smell like pineapple soda, more like candy, bubble gum maybe. That's the scent I'm getting. And since my hair is so saturated from the rice water, it is dripping a little, but that's okay. Trying to work it all into the ends. Come over here. I am heavy handed with products. I know I don't have a ton of hair on my head, but I like for everything to be saturated and fully coated definitely smells like bubble gum and not pineapple bubble gum just bubble gum i like this scent better than i like the wash be back after I rinse this off I am going to save this rice water that I have now for when my hair is in a protective style so in the next week or so like after the first week of wear in my hair I'm going to spray my scalp down with the rice water just to keep infusing it um so yeah I'll be back after I rinse this up okay so we're back and I stuck to hours so yay me <laughs> So rinsing this out, I will tell you guys that this has my hair feeling absolutely amazing. I love it. So will this be my go-to moisturizing hair mask? I think it shall be. I absolutely love it. And um, especially paired up with the rice water, which is a protein treatment, which normally leaves my hair feeling kind of dry and iffy. I don't get none of that. So next, we're going to go into the um, leave-in conditioner. This line also has a scalp treatment, I think, like some kind of oil type thing, and it also has like a curling jelly. I'm not into all it. Um, I mean, curling jellies are like light gels that I don't particularly like so this is what it looks like if it had a cream I probably would have got that just to leave in a oil and then the cream um but yeah stuck with what um I saw that they had this definitely glides on thicker 
and it definitely still gives you that vibe of moisturizing throughout. Sorry about that. Um, my camera died. Um, like I was saying, I don't remember quite where we left off. Um, I won't be applying gel to my hair simply because I'm gearing put it into a protective style. Um, so I'm just going to apply the leave-in and leave it alone. The leave-in definitely has my curls popping um quite nicely all on their own they it definitely like it i don't know how to describe this but my hair feels uber soft like i feel like it's going to dry and be very soft um i like that i don't really have to apply much because this product has my curls popping popping so yeah i'm going to just probably apply a oil and not a cream and i'll let it just dry on its own simply because i'm going to put it in a protective style so i have other steps that i do when i put my hair in braids but overall because you guys want to know should you spend the 9.99 plus tax on these items um so let's start off with the the um so so clean curl wash um uh, i think this is okay like if you didn't have it i don't think you would be like in dire need of it i think it's just you know your typical cleanser um like I said, it doesn't leave your hair dry or stripped, but you could tell that your hair is clean. Um, but I also didn't have a ton of product buildup because the protective style I had in was only in for two weeks and then I washed it last week. So it wasn't like a ton of product buildup, but it did get my gels and stuff out. The curl mask, the So So Moist Curl Mask, I absolutely absolutely love this i would purchase this again even though it's ten dollars it's eight ounces i still would purchase it again um i i absolutely adore it um it left my hair feeling soft it helped, left my hair feeling nice detangled um i have no issues with this or the leave-in conditioner and quite honestly <laughs> ten dollars is a lot for a leave-in conditioner you guys know i love my um cheapy conditioner but honestly i feel like this conditioner for me can be more of a cream based conditioner than it could be for like just you know your regular leave-in conditioner it has a little bit more of a thickness to it from my hair texture and type um but I'm gonna show you guys up close. Like I'm not touching it, I'm not detangling it or anything, but or messing with it, I should say. But like the way it has my corn my ugh, I cannot speak. The way it has my curls clumping together tells me everything I need to know about how much is going to leave my hair moisturized. I'm just gonna put an oil over it to kind of seal it in. But like I said, um this could probably go as a cream base for me and not just your typical um leave-in so overall <sighs> paying a little bit more i feel like you're getting what you pay for especially with a curl move that over here with a curl mask and the leave-in conditioner like i said the the curl wash um i kind of it's kind of a uh, I'm iffy about I'm not sold on it and um, a lot of that probably has to do with the fact that I don't really like the scent on this one I can tolerate the scent on these two because it's more it smells more like bubble gum than the fake pineapple scent type thing it is what it is but overall they are definitely good products and I would probably purchase at least both of these again um so yeah if you guys are interested in seeing another product review video you guys have a product that you want me to try out for my hair just let me know down in the comments below and like always i'll see you guys later be safe in these streets 
And until next time, bye.